What's up everyone? Welcome to the Apple Tree headquarters. My name is Wieger, co-founder of Apple Tree Surfboards. And today I'm going to show you in this tutorial video how to install full deck pads on a kite surfboard. equally well on a uh, foil board or even on a normal surfboard. It's just a quick explanation on how to nice and neatly and precisely stick uh, pads to any surfboards. So there's a couple of things you're going to need for this. In this case our boards do not, do not have a stringer so that makes it a little bit harder to find the center line uh, but there are some tricks to, to help that. So number one some painter's tape, a normal pencil, um, I like to use a ruler as well it's not really necessary and that's about all you need. Uh, make sure that the board is clean before you start. I usually clean it with some uh, degreaser, window cleaner. Try not to use too aggressive degreasers, but a normal uh, bike degreaser or a window cleaner is, is usually fine. The other thing you're gonna need, of course, is your pad um, and a solid stand like this rack. Uh, helps a lot with, uh, with uh, putting it on precisely. Okay, let's go. So first I've taken the pads out of the way just to have the board here. Um, in our board, the leash plugs are centrally placed, so you can use that as, that as a mid middle line. So just, what I'm just going, going to do put one edge of the tape on the nose. Tape it onto the back. Check if things are straight. push that on. So now this side, this side of the painter's tape will be your middle line, which we're going to use to align the pad in. So with your ruler or without, it's also possible without, make a few lines along the edge. Now these lines will fade off when you start writing, so we're just going to leave them. And we remove the tape. Check again if your line is straight, just by looking down the board. Looks straight to me. So there we go. Now time to grab the pads. So our pads, uh, our Apple Tree 9 piece pads, consist of nine separate pieces. They are put together with some tape. Um, in this case, we're doing an Apple Flap noseless, which is quite a narrow board. So I'm going to hold, I'm going to push all the parts together. But if you want to, you can also uh, space them out a little bit. But in this this video, we're just going to do it um, all together. So I'm just putting them on where I think I want to have them placed. And in this case, I want my tail pad as far to the back as possible. And if I put them all together, I leave enough space for the logo. Now to make it a little bit more appealing to the eye, we're just gonna move this one forward and then eventually we're gonna leave, put this one in the middle to have two nice rows there. So now number one thing that you want to do is start with the middle sections because if you have the middle sections in the middle the rest will easily follow. In our pads we have these holes in every pad they are for uh, for inserts but they're also the middle of the pads and make it super easy to find the middle of your board. So we're just going to take these apart and just use the middle bits for now. Okay, cool, so I've just got the middle pieces here. So I'm looking down through the holes to find my center line. 
this there and there. Now as an additional step, what you can do is just mark out two of the corners. Now with your two corners marked, peel back the backing of the pad. But only on one side. Now find your markings again. Not only these two. Push down one so it just stays in place for now. Find your back marker again. So try to find your markers through the holes. Lining up with your corner markers, place one inch down. Now make sure you hold this end so the whole pad is straight. Now carefully and slowly peel back and then push down. Peel back, back, push down. Constantly monitoring if you are still aligned with your center lines. Peel back. Push down, peel back, push down, push down all the way to there. There you go, that's number one. Check it with the side, looking good, that side. Perfect. Now we're not going to put these yet. Middle section, front section. So now it's time to line up the middle and the front section on your board. In this case, I would like the tip of the front section to end up right where the logo is, because it just makes it appealing to the eye. So again, find your markers, place them exactly in the middle, line it up and mark your corners. And in this case, I usually mark these corners as well because it doesn't hurt to do a bit of extra marking. There we go. And then same trick, you peel back this end, place it on your markers. Stick it down. Light, gently, lightly. Don't push it down yet. Check out the, if the markings are still correct. Now I usually hold down this end because with a long piece like this, it wants to move around a little bit. So I just peel back like this. Check your markings, stick down. Peel a bit further, check your markings, stick down. Keep checking your markings. And the last piece. There you go. Now this section, I usually eyeball it. So these are equal. In this case, feed it as well. This looks good to me. Again, peel back a little bit, find your markings. Stick down one end. There we go, that's the middle section done. Now the rest is super easy because if the middle section is straight, the other pieces will be very easy to stick against this middle section and we'll finish it off. So we'll start with the back. 
So in this case, this is the piece that belongs there. So what I do is I again remove the backing. And in this case, I'm just going to remove not in length, but from, from the side, from the inside out. So I remove the backing like that and come back to your board. If you make a little mistake, you can usually pull it off, but try not to do it too often because it will damage the tape and carefully stick it in place on one edge. Push that one down and then from the underside, pull back the backing. Same for the middle section. Now for this front section, um, it's the same process. The only thing is, as you can see, this board has grab rails. So that we get a lot of questions, people asking if they can stick the pads into the grab rails. Uh, yes, we, especially with our pads, it's really not a problem. They're thin and they're very flexible, so you can easily stick them into the grab rail and they will hold. Also, we supply our pads with the highest quality 3M backing tape that is available. So. Uh, we never have problems with uh, pads flying out, even though they're sometimes in a, in a bit of a crazy corner. So really not an issue there. Just be careful when you, when you tape, when you stick them down, is that you, um, uh, that there's no, there's no tension in the pad. So if you work from the middle, uh, from the middle outwards, you can push it down into the curve of the grab rail and this will eliminate any uh, tension in the pad and then it will just stay on forever. So I'll show you how, how I do it. So the same thing. Remove some of the backing. But only on the inside and then flip that over Start on one corner, flush with the other one. Now the same for the other side. So there they are, all the pads are on. A um, couple of last, uh, last tips, so now the pads are on, make sure to push them down uh, thoroughly everywhere, especially on the edges where the water jets in, because that's the place where it does tend to come off, if it, if it does come off. Another thing, the glue that's on there is sort of activated by heat. So it's a good idea to put your board in the sun for a couple of minutes to, for the pads to warm up and then come back with your finger and push down again, especially on all the edges, put some pressure that will lock them on forever. If you're pushing down and you find that there's a little air bubble somewhere, which does sometimes happen, uh, just pop it with a needle. Uh, do this because the air inside, when the sun hits it, it gets warm, it will expand and it can push the, the pad off. So it's always a good idea to just remove those by, uh, by popping them with a, with a needle. So that's it, pads are on, time to go surf. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you got any questions, put them in the comments below. We'll try to answer all of them. Um, if you like this video, give us a like. Please follow our channel. We've got lots more videos, lots more tech talks coming along this year again. And hope to see you next time. Cheers.